talk about an epic, epic sunset. Amazing, just absolutely amazing. wondering where the hell Norfolk Island is. It's a little island in the South Pacific, about 1500 kilometres off the sea east coast of Australia, situated between Brisbane and Sydney. And it's a beautiful little South Pacific paradise, probably closer to New Zealand and New Caledonia than what it is to Australia. But I'm here on a holiday for a couple of days and I've always wanted to come here, although not so much for photography, um, but I must say, it's just a stunning, stunning location. I've come up here tonight to what's called the Lone Pine, which is this tree here. I'm going to try and capture a sunset uh, here tonight as the sun goes down. I re feel, really feel privileged to be able to capture this tree. This tree was actually captured by James Cook when he discovered Nor Norfolk Island in 1774. He actually did a pencil sketch of this tree and it's remained here ever since. So it's a real privilege to be able to shoot a, a sunset here tonight and especially of the Lone Pine. Looks like so far the conditions are going to be pretty good for a nice sunset tonight. So fingers crossed, it's been a really humid day here today in Norfolk. I can't leave nothing to chance so I'm going to head down to the lower platform and try and capture the tree from the beach level low tide here at the moment tonight so there's a good opportunity I'll be able to capture it without too many distractions a few too many vehicles on the top there so we'll see how we go it's no wonder that when James Cook came past here in 1774 and discovered Norfolk Island and named it after the Duchess of Norfolk that he thought that he had discovered paradise Norfolk's had a chequered history over the years. It's been probably one of the cruelest penal settlements in uh, British history. Um, Kingston, which is just up on the far horizon up here, was the actual one of the convict settlements where the convicts were dealt out some pretty brutal treatment. But I'm just really enjoying the sheer beauty of this island. It's rolling green hills, turquoise, blue, clear water and just an amazing, amazing place. It's a sort of place where it takes you back 25 years or so. Everyone waves to you when you're on the road. Cows have right away. No one locks their cars here because no one's going to steal anything. It's probably the, one of the safest, most beautiful, tranquil islands in the world. On the east coast of Australia, I never get a chance or an opportunity to capture a sunset over the ocean. But of course here on Norfolk it's entirely possible. And it looks like it's gonna be a really beautiful one tonight. We've got some really light cloud in the sky, some nice orange and pastels starting to appear on the horizon. And of course, the world famous lone pine tree in the foreground. Just a stunning, stunning location. I'm not sure if it, the GoPro will pick it up or not, but if you can just have a look at even the clarity of the water here, just absolutely amazing. The um, coral reef here, it, it basically looks like, a, like an aquarium, so many fish swimming around. This is Emily Bay, and as the sun slowly sets down over Emily Bay, I'm going to keep trying to shoot some images here as we capture this beautiful sunset. I'm just going to talk you through my settings. I'm on an 80th of a second is my shutter speed. Um, I'm on about f8 and I've actually got a uh, 0.6 neutral density filter in just try and dull down the sky and balance out the image. 
I've got the wide angle lens on and I've actually got the tripod nice and low looking up at this sky because I think it's going to be pretty tonight so I'm going to try and capture an image of this and just savour this moment. There's just something about this place. You come here and you can't help but feel relaxed. It's a world away from anywhere and so different to the rest of the world with all the crazy stuff that's going on in the world at the moment. Just such a privilege to come here and shoot such a beautiful location. As you can see, I'm down here at Emily Bay tonight. There's no one around. A couple of people swimming off in the distance, but that's Norfolk Island. It's just that friendly, happy atmosphere. Not a lot of people, only about 1,600 residents live on the island here. And they're very proud of their island, I can see why. But um, I'm just watching the sun now, it's starting to go down nice and slow. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it. And um, really starting to get some glow in that horizon now, so I'll fire a couple more shots. Just firing off shots here previously at the moment as the sun really moving down quickly now behind the horizon. And we're gonna get that afterglow, so I'm gonna hang around after sunset once the sun's gone down and see if the sky actually colours up. You probably notice I'm sweating quite profusely. The humidity here today has been quite intense and it hasn't relented right up until sunrise or sunset. So I'm just going to keep firing a couple of shots here. That's it, the sun's gone down here at Emily Bay and um, I don't think there's going to be a hell of a lot more light. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and see if we get a little bit more colour in the sky. I've got some really nice pastels and blues in the sky at the moment. But over the next couple of days I'm going to continue shooting some images here around Norfolk Island. And I'll either put them up at the end of this vlog or depending on how many images I shoot, I might even do a separate vlog. Emily Bay certainly starting to turn on a beautiful after sunset glow. Just stunning, stunning glow across the sky here tonight with this pine tree in the background. Just amazing. So happy. Talk about an epic, epic sunset. Amazing. Just absolutely amazing. These are the sort of days that you um, you hope will come along and you've just got this beautiful, beautiful sky. In the words of Thomas Heaton, absolutely stunning. Wow. I just can't stop taking images here. This sunset is just beautiful absolutely beautiful the sort of thing that you as a landscape photographer you just really hope one day you can capture it just absolutely beautiful there's a famous Australian photographer and his name's Ken Duncan and when I first started getting into landscape photography I watched one of his um, tutorials and one of it said was always always wait around after sunset or sunrise you always get the best light and tonight we've just got the most amazing amazing light after sunset i'm just hoping that the gopro is picking it up as good as the camera is but just absolute epic That's it from Emily Bay in Norfolk Island. If you enjoyed the content of this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It's really important that I try and build this channel so that I can bring you more content. 
If you like the content of this video and you haven't been here before, then please subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Also, if you've got a comment or a question, leave them below. I always try and respond. Hopefully I'll be around shooting some more landscape photography soon. So I'll see you then. And um, the way they curve and shape, I just thought it would be a really cool spot to come and